right, I want to welcome you guys to another episode of Digging in My Shorts. This is an ongoing series that I do in which I literally dig through my personal collection. And, and by personal collection, I mean extended collection in many ways because I not too long ago purchased a, a very large collection of 100,000 comics and I am slowly but surely working my way through that collection uh, bin by bin. And so in this video, what I want to try to do is to actually work my way through not just one long box, but actually two long boxes. I have another down here at my foot. Both of these are relatively light boxes, which tells me that, uh, you know, maybe there's some other things that are happening in here. They're, they're a little lighter. So either things aren't bagged and boarded or some of these aren't comics and there may be some other things, but we may be able to work our way through um, in this video, two bins relatively quickly. So that, that will be at least my goal now this one this one intrigued me this one intrigued me because it says uh here at the top various marvels uh newer newer is what that says and then it's written here on the box marvel 2003 wolverine number one uh two ultimate sm which is spider-man and uh 34 plus 33 venom is what it says that's what the label the lid says but this lid could have easily been separated from the box that actually contained those things but that is part of what caught my attention and uh, that's part of why i grabbed this the other part is we'll see if this is the one there's a couple of, of things that are mixed in here that i dropped in uh while i was at the storage unit because I have made a commitment to someone, and there we go. Yeah, so this is the one. Made a commitment to someone. I, I honestly, at this moment, cannot recall how or why I agreed to bundle up some books to send into uh, a Shriner's Hospital. <laughs> but somehow or another, I committed to doing it, uh, and it was probably for a good reason. But at the moment, this moment as I'm recording this video, I cannot recall why, but basically what I committed to was actually to pull some books from this collection that might be suitable for children, uh, boys and girls, uh, and more than likely younger kids. But I'm actually, I am going to pull some books from the collection to actually send off to that hospital. And I will definitely refer to my notes. Uh, I want to say it was the Shriners Hospital in Memphis. I want to say it was Memphis. Um, the details are a little sketchy, but uh, I committed to doing it and I am going to do it. This is Barbie uh, number four and number seven. And this over here is Barbie number one. So I found these in another bin and kind of opened them up at the storage unit and dropped uh, dropped those in because that those needed to come to the house. Because there's a few other titles that I spot checked in here that I thought might be appropriate for children. And that is why I basically grabbed this band. So there's power pack in here. Probably hold on to the power pack. They, they may be making a TV show out of that. So we may want to hold that. That's a Defenders right there. Defenders first spectacular issue. Don't know a whole lot about the Defenders team. What is that? Dark Crystal. Just a lot of different. Ultra Girl. Never heard of that character. Is she alien, mutant, or both? Ultra Girl first fantastic issue that is from marvel comics 1996 it says on there drop that one back in there there's some beauty and the beast that should be age appropriate right I'm guessing that i'll have to maybe look that up to make sure that that is age appropriate for uh or yeah appropriate for children little turtles action in here from 1994 some of the uh some of the books are not bags and boarded as you guys are seeing here, but uh, it's another Turtles book. Hopefully there's a couple of, of books in here that I can actually pull out to uh, send off to the hospital again um, for a good cause. Not the first time that I've done it. What is this? Captain America, Iron Man, Avengers, Hawkeye, Fantastic Four, Heroes and Legends. I've never even seen that before. My guess is that this is actually a wraparound cover. Looks like Doctor Doom in the back, and my guess is that it wraps around. I've never, I've never seen this title before. That's cool. We'll just set that one to the side. I wanna, I wanna check that one out. A little Logan's Run right there. Logan's Run number one. I can't remember which issue of Logan's Run actually has that uh, first solo story of uh, Thanos in it. I have it in the collection, but but cannot uh, recall the specific issue 
they may tell me here. There we go. Logan's Run 6. <laughs> Logan's Run 6 is what it is. It actually is the first solo backup story featuring Thanos. So uh, not, a, not a whole lot of action with this story arc itself, but definitely number 6 has, has a little magic to it. And it's Human Torch. Human Torch number 1 right there. Cool book. I am a fan of the Human Torch. More of the original Human Torch from the Golden Age, but Human Torch is still cool. Marvel's Vision. Interesting. A lot of just... That's the cool thing about this collection. Just a lot of different titles uh, over, you know, various time periods. You know, things that I would not necessarily buy, but I just think are really just fantastic to experience. Uh, one, of the, one of the cool things that I've experienced with this collection is that there's a, a lot of independence in here. A lot of indie uh, titles from indie publishers that have, like, come and gone... Uh, many of which I've never even heard of before, which which is just it, it, it's actually really cool to me. Just um, the ability to uh, little Doctor Strange there to look back over time and see all of these publishers and books that came before it gives me a great opportunity to go and do do some research and uh, learn a little bit more about this hobby that uh, that we enjoy. What is this Doctor Strange Sorcerer Supreme Ash Can? That's kind of cool. I have a couple of these ash cans in the collection already that have been uh, sent in to me from, from various subscribers. So, so we're getting to Marvel superheroes. That is not a title that I know a whole lot about, to be honest with you. There's only one book that readily comes to mind when I think about Marvel superheroes. And uh, fingers crossed that that book is actually in here. So uh, for those for those that have not seen this series before, what I end up doing a lot is I use uh, the Key Collector app. Uh, if you guys don't know about that, man, I'm telling you, treat yourself. <laughs> Key Collector app is uh, is a super super handy. Uh, what is it? Marvel superheroes? Super handy uh, app that I I use a lot just because in my my humble opinion, it is pretty tough to remember every single. Um, book that has some significance out there and uh, this collection has a healthy amount of um, DC and I am not the the, the most steeped in the DC uh, universe and so key collector app is super helpful for that this is Marvel superheroes fall special number three and there there are two there are two books that are Marvel superheroes that are pretty important, at least that I just saw from Key Collector app. I'm mostly familiar with one of them, and we'll see whether that is in there. This is from 1990 right there. That's another issue, same one. Marvel superheroes, what is this? Uh, 1991, Spring, right there. Again, a, a, not a title that I'm very familiar with. It's uh, I don't know much of the backstory on this one. So it'll be interesting to uh, to maybe do a little research on that one. Marvel Superheroes Summer Special featuring the X Men. A little Speedball. I loved that guy back in the day, man. I loved some Speedball back in in the nineties. A couple of transitioning to X Men, which gives me a very very good feeling for uh, what may be coming up. More X Men. See whether we yes sir. See if we can make some magic. There we go. This is Marvel Superheroes Winter Special 80 page blockbuster. That's a cool book right there. And I think I just saw another copy right where my finger is. This is the first appearance of Squirrel Girl. <laughs> She's not even on the cover. There's another, another one featuring Squirrel Girl. I want to say I have, uh, I think I have two copies of that in the collection already. So, oh, here we go. There's another copy right there. That is 1992 right there. The, the next one is issue 11. Let's see if I can see that cover. Let's see whether we can spot that one. Because these don't have numbers on them. They go by, by years and winter and summer. And there we go. Right there. There we go. So let's look at the significance of this one. Hopefully, again, you guys can see that on the screen. It's the first chronological appearance of Rogue. This story... That introduced Rogue was intended to be published in Miss Marvel number 25, 1979, 
but the title was abruptly canceled with Miss Marvel 23. Something, yeah, I've read that before. Rogue was introduced two years later in Avengers Annual Number 10. That's a book that I have as well. So this book here, this one, First Battle of Rogue and Miss Marvel. Um, additional content references Miss Marvel's unexplained pregnancy, which is interesting. But this is the chronological first appearance of Rogue. That is fascinating. I knew that there was a little bit of some controversy surrounding her her uh, her first appearance with the cancellation of that title. But I did not know that chronologically it was in this book. So that that's interesting. That is an interesting little tidbit. There's a second copy of that. Uh, is that a third? No, it's not a third. This is uh, from 92. This one is also 92. That's fall. This is winter. So we'll go ahead and set this, set these off to the side. They are definitely some big books, man. 80 pages. Those things are thick. Like this whole section here looks like uh, this, this same title, Marvel Superheroes. When you look at them from the top, you can definitely see the thickness. And again, I think that those, those are the only two, the Marvel Superheroes 8 and 11 are the big special books in this title. So we'll just kind of work our way through this real quickly here. Speedball. Can't go wrong. A little speedball action there. That's cool. And see what else another speedball. Was that a newsstand? Nope. Direct. Let's just kind of see what else is in here. Just uh, spot check it because you never know if one of the... Wait a minute. Is that a Disney? Yeah, we're going to set that one over there couple of yeah a couple of these cool books again this, these are some of the books that i spotted when i kind of flipped this open and was uh looking for aladdin looking for some books to send to uh to this children's hospital so again that is that is part of why i decided to pull this bin and bring it home there's like a little mermaid in here uh so we'll pull some of this stuff out man and send it to the kids and uh We'll save a couple, of course, for, for my own kids because I think that they would enjoy uh, these books if I can prevent them from tearing it up. Issue 100. Issue 100. Let's look that up. There, uh, this collection, man, this collection just has uh, just a lot of fantastic surprises. Um... Man, let me see, that's issue 100. Okay, so not a whole lot. Okay, so I'm looking at the title and key collector app, and uh, it looks like the, the really special ones are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 19. But uh, it's another issue, another 100 right there. A couple of unbags aboarded. It's uh, part 1, issue 105 right there to go back through this a little bit huh, I've never seen, seen that one alright uh, we'll kind of skip through this and uh, Ultra Universe stuff in here Ultraverse sorry Prime 17 <laughs> just all it is it is just all kinds of Tailspin oh how cool is that Tailspin number one how cool is that Donald Duck in here Donald Duck Number 35 right there from Walt Disney. A couple of cool things in here. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to spend a little bit more. Uh, Uncle Scrooge. Oh, what happened to his uh his vault? Uncle Scrooge 273. That's cool. Just when you think you're gonna just skip through it, Airboy. You stumble upon some cool stuff. Let me see what else is in here. We'll skip through it kind of quick. Kind of quick, like. Anything Goes, Gil Kane Savage, The Flaming Carrot by Bob Burden, issue number one. That's interesting. I've uh, I found several of these like anthologies in the collection, uh, some of which are, are pretty rare. I've actually come across at least one other, uh, no, no, actually, I guess two, two other anthologies that are that are pretty rare one of them has uh 23 copies no yeah 23 copies i think on the cgc census so at some point i may show may show some of those books so we're gonna set these i'm gonna set these off to the side here and i'm gonna grab this other bin and try to work 
through that just a little bit. Make sure my angle was good there so you guys can actually see some of this stuff. And this one is a little shifted. We may have to uh, add some bubble wrap or something like that back here to, uh, to prop this up. Those books back there are kind of bent already. One of them is Jack Kirby's Fourth World, issue number 20. Dark Side right there. That is actually one of the ones that was back here. X Mutants, Dark Horse Presents. A lot of these are unbagged and boarded here. A couple of Who's Who from DC. Nothing crazy down here. I don't think I've ever actually seen this, this book before, but it is one that I that I recognize because I just recently talked about it on the uh, Go Collect Speculation video. I, I talked about uh, Jack Kirby's Fourth World, not not necessarily that title per se, but the universe, if you will, that, uh, that Jack, Jack Kirby created. So again, this is one of those Warlord number 110. Okay, this is one of those uh, bins that, as I kind of mentioned, was a little light. So I kind of knew it was... Um, relatively empty and as i surmised a lot of these books here are not uh not boarded which is part of uh why it was so light house of secrets here from vertigo which one is that house of secrets uh 25 right there oh that's cool classic x-men i remember back in the day i used to read i used to buy these and read those not necessarily knowing the difference between classic X-Men and, and just regular X-Men. Some of those early mistakes you make as a uh, comic book reader slash collector. King size annual number four. X-Men number four. We'll set that off to the side and put that in my uh, X-Men bin. The G.I. Joe action there. Web of Spider-Man 46. I mean, this is just an eclectic box of, of uh, random titles. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Silver Surfer number one by Mobius. That's cool right there. Is there number two? Oh, no, that's Black Panther. It's Black Panther number eight. That is, uh, we'll put that in the Black Panther bin. I, I just stumbled upon... Pretty much an entire run of Black Panthers, issue number two, and another uh, another bin. Oh, that's cool. Marvel Team Up Spider-Man and the Fantastic Four, issue 100. That's cool. Set that off to the side. Sergeant Fury and the Howling Commandos, issue 100. That is not a title that I know anything about. I don't know anything about that one. Let's just set that off to the side. That's just an interesting book to look at. Sergeant Fury Special Edition number 13 right there. Howard the Duck number one. <laughs> we'll pull that out. We'll pull that out because there, there was actually a bin that, that is in the other room. That is uh, that is some Howard the Duck. It uh, has Human Fly, uh, Devil Dinosaur. What else is in there? It, it's like an eclectic uh, bin of, of stuff like that. So I'll pull that stuff out and move that over there. Uh, the Chilling Adventure, Chilling Adventures in Sorcery. Don't know much about that title either. 20 Center. That's cool. We'll set that to the side and do some research on that. There's another copy of that one. I'm actually going to run out of room up here on uh, this box. Slide some of this stuff down. Hopefully we don't lose anything in here. It's Doctor Strange, number two. Is that Doctor Strange? Doctor Strange number two. Huh. Not the biggest Doctor Strange fan, but uh, I've read some of the uh, the some of some of the Doctor Strange stuff has actually captured my my attention. It's uh can't remember which uh, can't remember the story arc that someone recommended that I read and involved the uh, the night nurse, but it was actually a pretty it was actually a pretty good read. Yeah, that is Doctor Strange versus the Defenders, unofficial crossover appearance of Green Lantern. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. Confirmed by Frank Bruner, Green Lantern is passed out under the table after drinking yellow chamomile tea. <laughs> How cool is that? Just stumbled upon some, some Doctor Strange in there, man. That's cool. And it's a crossover. How cool is that? That's a cool book. We'll, we'll set that one to the side. What, is this Doctor Strange 1? 
No, then we go back to Justice Society. <laughs> Such an eclectic box of, uh, of stuff. Black Goliath here, issue number two. Let me pull that out. Put that with the the, uh, the Black Panther there. Oh, man, I love this one. Machine Man, Jack Kirby. I love Machine Man. That is actually really cool. Skull the Slayer. What is that? Uh, Midnight Tales? Charlton? 20 Center. I've never, I've never even come across that one. Charlton Comics. Um, number one. Set that to the side. That's uh, that's definitely worth a uh, a little bit of a of a gander there. Spectacular Spider-Man Annual number nine. I mean, just uh, just an eclectic box, man. Conan the Barbarian number thirteen in here. The Living Vampire. A venture into fear with the man called Morbius. The Living Vampire issue number twenty. Who knew? Who knew that this was what that was in here? Fantastic Four, number 371, red cover. How cool is that? That's cool. We'll set that off to the side. Master of Kung Fu 39. And I, I'll have to look these up. This is a title that I've seen several times in the collection here. Doorway to Nightmare. I've seen several of those. Several of those. I think I've, I've already pulled the one, two, and three out. Speaking of that, there is issue number three right there. We'll go back and grab that one. Pulling way too many books. They're going to be a nightmare to sort or to uh, to keep organized here on the table. S couple of issues of Black Lightning. I'll end up pulling those out as well because there's another bin with uh, Black Lightning in it. Some Grim Ghost here from uh, Atlas Comics. I got on a big Atlas Comics. Uh, oh, that's cool. That's a nice red cover. Grim Ghost number two. Um, back when uh, a few months ago when uh, it was announced that Atlas Comics was actually signing a deal I went out and uh, picked up a bunch of Atlas Comics but uh, these appear to be pretty nice so a little Daredevil action Daredevil 188 I've already pulled that one out uh, we'll set that one out to the side anyway what is this Daredevil 187 what if Elektra had lived what if title number 35 right there we'll go back through and grab some of this stuff what is this one man called nova 15 huh wonder woman it's just a random box wonder woman 300 right there that's cool justice inc <laughs> from dc comics huh 50 center here i mean a 15 center where creatures roam. That's cool. We'll pull that one out and uh, and look at that one as well. A couple of cool, couple of cool books in here that I know nothing about. That we will have to, uh, men of war, will have to investigate to what uh, to learn. Mister Miracle here. I enjoyed that series. Read a couple of the uh, early issues on the Mister Miracle. The original series that is and that's what we're looking at here 25 cent here is uh, mr. miracle number five right there put that back in there here is uh issue is this issue four ah then we bounce out to the destructor <laughs> i actually enjoyed this read <laughs> from atlas comics the destructor i actually enjoyed that one that was actually a cool read here's issue number one and uh last last book in the bin is i don't even know what that is dc direct currents from uh from july not even sure what that is to be honest it's like a uh looks like a previews magazine of some sort so definitely some some interesting books in this particular this particular bin this was this definitely an, like an eclectic bin of things we found some chilling adventures and in, in sorcery some daredevil some what if story some doctor strange number two where creatures roam midnight tales from charlton comics i mean just an eclectic stuff mixed in with with barbie and uh, ducktales so just some really cool stuff man this collection is just 
it's just it's a it's a lot of fun to go through this one so i want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video i hope that you enjoyed it and and if you did i want to encourage you to hit the thumbs up button leave a comment behind so we can mix it up in the comment section if you uh, want to reach out to me you can actually do that you can do that on instagram which is my preferred way to get in touch with me and uh that is reggie collects but you can also send me an email. If you want to want to send me an email, we can definitely do that as well. And uh, the best way to get me there is Reggie at ReggieCollects.com. If you're feeling frisky, you can actually uh, head over to my website. There's a ton of great information there on the website, various blog posts, various videos. Uh, there's a store. There's also discount codes and things like that for my various partners that I work with. So if you're interested in getting some discounts and things like that, there's links and codes and all that kind of stuff on the website. And that URL is ReggieCollects.com. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh -oh. Uh -oh.